Okay, let's jump in on activity 1.1 of week four. This is to start setting up your mechanical drawing. You're going to find that setting things up properly is a big part of being able to follow your standards. And we're going to go through a slightly laborious way. And uh, as you get more experience, you'll find that there are many shortcuts to this. But this process you're going to go through now will really teach you why those are there and how those work. Sorry about that. And so let's take a look at activity 1.1. We are going to create and save a new file. And it's going to have a layout, 8.5 by 11 landscape. Later on, we're going to do stuff to that. But I want it all set up right. So I'm going to use what's called an exemplar or a template or a sample file or a base file. Everybody uses different words for it. But it's a file that already contains the pre-made stuff that you want to use. So I'm going to open and load that now. I've already got that. I've got my mechanical exemplar downloaded and opened. You can get it from the link and download it. Okay, and so once it's downloaded, you just go to the open command on your AutoCAD and go find it. So now you're going to watch me play around in my file system and go find it. I think it's probably in week four. There's my mechanical exemplar. Oh, that's not the one I want. There we go. Let's just go. There it is. Okay. And so I can ignore all that stuff. And you're going to see when it opens up, it's probably got something like this. It's a sheet and there's another sheet and there's a big blank empty space. Okay. So now I've got that open. I'm going to gain access to that for my other drawings. I type DC over here. DC, I just type it in, enter. And this big dialog comes up. And I'll just cram it over against the side. And then it says, click the open drawings. So I can see things in my file system or open drawings, or I can go back to my history. And I want to look at my open drawings. And I see I have drawing one. And I can collapse it. And I have my mechanical exemplar that I can look at. So that's kind of cool. Once I've done that, I can open a new file and name it plate, plate 4.1. Well, I've got this one here already open, so I can do that. Otherwise, I'd go to new file. But I can save this one as and I'll be sure to save it as a drawing we this is not a template it's not a drawing standard it's not anything else you want to save it as a drawing okay and uh, I'll put it in here this is my week four stuff and so I'm gonna call that plate 4.1 and if I want to, I can write the word mechanical after it. And I can put my initials after it. Just so long as you know that it's plate 4.1. And now it, there's an empty plate there. Okay. And now I'm going to add a mechanical A. Sorry about that. A mechanical A layout. Look up here. I've got my exemplar. And I've got. The file I'm working on so this gets a little bit you have to take care that you're working in the right drawing always be sure that, that the bold one is the one you want to be in okay so into my 4.1 which is bold I want to put blocks from actually I want to put layouts from my exemplar so let's open my exemplar, go to layouts, and there's a mech A and a mech B. And I hold my left button down on the mech A, drag it over, and let go. And look, it showed up right there. It is now 
in my 4.1. The last thing it does says is to remove my other ones. Delete layout two. Delete layout one. Now my drawing is ready for the next step. Okay, and if I want to be sure, I can go to Mech A. There it is. That's my mechanical A size. Okay, there it is. It's got a little title block on it and all sorts of other cool stuff that we'll work with later on. But that's the quick way to get a drawing set up with the sheets of paper that you are going to use later on. So now I can save this and I could go on to my next one, which is doing the same thing, but for plate 4.2. And it's gonna have a landscape B. So I would have to open my landscape exemplar, find the layer, and pull it in. And then I would do the same thing for my architectural drawing. And you'll see that sometimes these title blocks are special to the industry and sometimes they're very generic. But you are now getting a library of all the parts that you need. So the first step of a drawing is to create your output sheets. And that's gonna have a big effect on what you draw and, and how you get drawings done. Okay, so there you go. That's really activity 1.1, 1 1.2, and 1.3 of week four.